Hey guys, it's Jess from Peace Love Books and today I have a fun video because I am still in the Bridgerton obsession mood and I wanted to do some more Bridgerton videos on my channel. I know a ton of people are picking up Bridgerton and wanting recommendations and I read a book and I was like this is so much like The Duke and I so I'm recommending romances for those of you who love Simon the Duke of Hastings. If you want more Simon related content, if you love his character, how he is a rake and he's so fun, I think. At least I have a lot of Simon in the show now in my mind versus in the book because I read the book once and I read it back in November and I binged all the Bridgerton books and so now I'm like, was that Simon in the book? Simon in the show? I don't remember because now I've watched the show through twice, but I really love Simon's character. I love how he's a rake, but that he also is trying to be loyal to his friend, but also he kind of likes Daphne and then they become friends and then we have that marriage of convenience and he's a very passionate man and then and he's also really hurting from his past and first of all his stutter and trying to overcome that in society because people look at him and think he's stupid because he stutters especially his father his just absolute hatred for his father and letting that really dictate his decisions and how frustrating that is so all of those components I kind of put together to come up with seven books that I want to recommend to you okay so I actually have two books that are contemporary and then the rest are historicals so I try to add in some contemporary. The first one, though, is Unloved by Kate Regnery. This one is a romance about a a guy living in the mountains alone because his father was a serial killer, I think, or a mass murderer or something. His father was not a good guy. So he believes that he is just unlovable, that no one could ever love him and he can't have any kids because he don't want to pass that gene down because he thinks he has that gene. He's like, if I go around people, I'm just going to be like this mass murderer. And so for this one, I'm re relating it to Simon because his life decisions are really affected by his family and his desire not to be like his father. And so his father drives a lot of the things he does and how he lives his life. This woman ends up uh, getting stranded in the mountains and he she's actually attacked and he saves her and like nurses her back to health in his cabin. So he lives alone. He hasn't really talked to anybody. It's their romance and I really liked that this book explores who you are and if you are genetically disposed to be like someone or if how you're raised and what choices you make really define who you are instead. So I really love this one in that aspect with relating to Simon's character of letting your family, specifically your father, really affect how you live and how you feel worthy of love or not. So check this one out. The book that really inspired this video, I had my live show last night. It was for the Historical Hellions Book Club with my friend Samantha from Books with Samantha. It is Love Only Once by Joanna Lindsay. I freaking love this book so much. I'm so excited I found another Joanna Lindsay I love. I've read a five of hers now, four of hers, and two of them I really enjoyed, so I'm very happy about that. I've read four. I've read four. Yes. So two of them were just okay. One of them was not good, but this one fabulous and I really love Hearts of Flame as well. This one, our heroine's name is Reggie and she reminds me a lot of Daphne and the fact that she has a really overprotective family. She has a bunch of uncles instead of brothers. Her parents passed away so she's been raised by these uncles and she really wants to get married. There's a duel in here. Our hero though, Nicholas, is definitely a rake. He has tons of mistresses and he's currently like feuding with his current mistress and goes to kidnap her because she's trying to make him jealous. So he's like, fine, she just won't go to the ball if she wants to make me jealous and ends up accidentally kidnapping Reggie instead ruins her reputation and they are forced into marriage so I really love this he is actually though hiding a secret about his past specifically with his mother though and that's really uh, affecting his relationship he doesn't want to get married for that reason he's kind of blackmailed into getting married he kind of distances himself from Reggie when they're married because he doesn't want her to find out about his past and he feels like if that secret is comes out like she's gonna hate him and society will hate him and so Again, he's making a lot of his decisions based on family and specific things that have happened in his past and how he was raised, so I would definitely recommend this one if you love Simon. We have a really rakish character in here, much more so than the book Simon, but similar to the show Simon. Another one I have is another one with a complicated relationship with a father, and that is The Duchess War by Courtney Milan. I love this book. A lot of people have been saying they don't like it, which makes me so sad because it is a little slow in the beginning. I absolutely loved it. Our heroine, she has a very big secret she's hiding and she doesn't want to draw attention to herself. She has some PTSD from what she went through, so she has a lot of anxiety, especially in social situations where she's the main focus. And so she tries to lie low and she meets Robert and he is instantly like 
attracted to her and intrigued by her and she needs to figure out who is uh, posting these flyers around town because someone accuses her and she's like it's not me and she doesn't want to focus on her so she wants to figure out who's doing it and they spend a lot of time together. Robert actually is uh, very determined to fix his father's mistakes. His father was not a good person whatsoever. Trigger warnings for sexual assault, rape, and so he is trying to turn the dukedom around and really make up for what his dad did, specifically with someone who he's very close with. I will say that. And so he is making a lot of his decisions for that and wants to make sure he marries well. And so a lot of his decisions are driven to not be like his father. I really like that about this book. And he's a duke just like Simon is. He's trying to marry within his social class. And so I would recommend this if you want a hero like Simon. He's definitely not a rake though. He's like the opposite of a rake. He does not get around whatsoever. So that aspect's not similar. But I think in the decisions for the dukedom, it kind of is. The next one is a really good one where the hero's also hiding a secret that he really doesn't want out and that is really affecting the decisions he makes specifically with his romance. So Simon really doesn't want to marry Daphne. He doesn't want to marry anybody because of his dad because he doesn't want to carry on the name of the dukedom. And so I'm going to recommend Forbidden by Beverly Jenkins. This one, our hero, he is actually white passing and our heroine shows up into town. She has a lot of trouble getting to town because I think like someone robs her and she's left like in the middle of the desert and it's very hard for her to make it there. She is a very good cook and so she wants to get enough money to get to like her final destination and so she decides to, I think she takes up like a cooking position at like a either a restaurant or an inn, I don't remember, but she really starts liking Ryan and Ryan has made this life for himself that he really can only achieve by being white passing and he doesn't want anybody to figure out his secret that he's not actually completely white and people will not at all accept their relationship because he is white and she is black and they end up really falling for each other and he has to decide whether he wants to give up this life that he's had and this promise that he's made to continue living this really impactful life because he feels like he can only make changes in society if he has that power as a white man to do it because he won't have that same opportunity if people know that he is black and so I really enjoyed this romance. It's a lot sweeter I think than the Duke and I romance is but they do become friends and Eddie is such a really strong heroine. This is a great romance. I would definitely recommend this one as well. Then I have have The Wicked Wallflower by Maya Rodale. This one is the romance that is similar to The Duke and I because they become really good friends first. So our heroine, she's a wallflower, she needs to get married. She's in love with someone who needs to marry someone wealthy and she's not. Then her friends decide to write this like announcement that she's actually engaged to this rake duke and then it actually gets sent to the paper and the duke is like, well I need to fix my reputation so why don't we just pretend this engagement thing is happening? And it's kind of like Simon where Simon really needs someone to court in order to get people off his back because he doesn't want people to keep on throwing themselves at him and like all those mothers and that's why he ends up fake dating Daphne and in this one he wants people to take him seriously because he has this invention he's working on and needs some investors and so he decides to fake date her and they end up going to his grandmother's estate. It's like his pseudo grandmother. She wasn't, I don't think they were like actually related but he grew up with her and they have to t partake in these like games in order to win being the first in line in her will and whoever like wins the last game before she dies ends up like getting everything and so he wants that as well so he can have money and then she can get money from it so she can go marry this guy that she wants to marry and they end up being really good friends and like having fun moments together which really happens with the Duke and I and he's definitely rakish. Simon doesn't need to fix his reputation but he definitely needs to get like women off his back and so that's why the fake dating happens. It's a lot of fun. I really like that fun aspect and I would definitely compare that to Simon's character for the Duke and I. Another one is actually a contemporary and that is To Love Jason Thorne by Ella Mays. This one he is an actor and our heroine is a writer. She's an indie writer and they had known each other as children and so it is also a older brother's best friend romance and so he ends up having to leave though and they don't see each other for a long time and becomes a famous actor and they actually hire him to be the actor in her book that she wrote that's going to become a movie that she based off of her romance with him about her feelings for him. They never actually had a romance because she was too young and he didn't see her that way then. But he also has a really bad reputation with the ladies and his publicist says you need to 
fix that and they end up fake dating slash being fake married. I don't remember if they actually got married, but there is fake dating in here to fix his rakish reputation, just like Simon's. So if you really like that, fake dating to fix a reputation like what Simon has. Uh, I would recommend this one. And the last one I have, if you haven't gotten to it yet, I would definitely recommend moving on to book two, The Viscount Who Loved Me, because Anthony, just like Simon, is very rakish and is very determined not to be in love. So Simon doesn't want to marry, we all know why, but then Anthony also... He does want to marry, but he doesn't want to fall in love in a marriage because he thinks he's going to die because his father passed away really young, and he's like, I'm just going to die too. That's just what's going to happen. And so he really pushes love away, kind of like Simon does, and the book plots are very similar as well. There is marriage of convenience in here around the same time because of the same thing, and so if you really enjoy the Duke and I and Simon's character, I think you would really enjoy the Viscount who loved me as well. And those are my books that I think you would love if you love Simon, the Duke of Hastings, if you like some forearm action, spoon loving things that Simon is known for. I think you would love these books. Let me know down below if you've read any of them or if you have any other recommendations for heroes like Simon. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.